Today I want to proudly present parametric 3D models for use for drawing practice. There is a link in the description that leads you to a page on the Practice Drawing This website where all the models I currently have are listed. In this video I will show you two of them and give you some tips on how to use them for drawing practice. The first one I call the Stacked Cubes Parametric Model. I got the idea for this while doing Wouter Tulp's Amazing Fundamentals of Expressive Character Design course on Schoolism. If you open the Stacked Boxes page on my website, you are presented with a set of boxes stacked randomly in all directions. You can rotate, pan and zoom the view. You can also change how the blocks are stacked by clicking on the change icon. The page will then generate a random new configuration of cubes for you, some easier than others. Some tips. When you begin or if you haven't done this in a while, it can take some time to really get into it. So stick with it for a while. Don't give up too easily. It gets easier. I tend to sketch with pen nowadays, but while drawing these, I may also first make a light underdrawing in pencil. Some artists may want to do this exercise digitally. Choose the drawing tools you feel most comfortable with, at least at first. When drawing these boxes, it helps to draw the line as long streaks. If an edge continues from one box to the next, it looks good if you draw it as one confident long straight line. When drawing, aiming the lines even approximately at the right vanishing point is more important than getting the line exactly right. Making the lines go to the right vanishing point is more important for the believability of your drawing than getting the angles of the line exactly right. It is important to develop a sense for where you have to be accurate and where you can freewheel a bit. It is a good idea to exaggerate the perspective, because it is more fun as accuracy becomes less important. It also forces you to choose vanishing points. Usually vanishing points are far away and the lines running to them are almost parallel and small mistakes in the angles of the lines can cause them to converge to a point in the wrong direction. And it just looks off. By placing the vanishing point nearer, it is clearer which vanishing points you choose. You'll find that when you exaggerate perspective, the model becomes more dynamic and fun to look at. The geometrical relationships have to stay the same. As long as the lines converge to the right vanishing point, the drawing looks believable. Do try to freehand draw. It is more fun, for me at least, I don't like working with a ruler. An advanced drawing exercise is to imagine what something looks like from another angle. You can then draw it and rotate the model to verify your drawing. The second model consists of two boxes that represent the chest and the hip of the human torso. Each time you request a new configuration of the boxes, they will be oriented differently relative to each other, presenting dynamic poses of the torso. The same tips mentioned before hold for this model also. It is fun to add more to this simplified model. You can add cylinders to suggest arms, neck and head, legs, and if you can draw more or less simplified chests and hips into the respective uh, boxes. When you get the hang of it and start to get bored with it, then do stop this exercise. Hard practice has its use, but you should also make sure you have fun with it. I do find it is fun to switch from doing other drawing exercises to doing this drawing exercise occasionally. If you want, you can try drawing from a 3D model right now. Find some audio you would like to listen to. I switch between YouTube videos suitable for just listening to, or podcasts, or music, or maybe non-art related online courses I can listen to without having to look at the screen. Some may work best in complete silence, or with the soothing background noise at a coffee place. Grab a sketchbook or just a plain sheet of paper and a pen or a pencil and open the link in the description and start drawing. 